guys so today I'm at the South Brisbane Cemetery it's Brisbane's oldest cemetery and it has a super huge reputation for being firstly super creepy but super mega haunted now there have been many many tales of many different sightings and occurrences happening here at this cemetery so much so that there's even a book published on those stories that book is really hard to get your hands on so unfortunately I don't own it now I don't actually know too many of those stories so I can't relay them to you so but what I can tell you is from first hand how I feel when I'm in this cemetery a couple of weeks ago I came scouting locations up here in Brisbane and I did come here and as soon as I popped out of the car bang the energy just hit me it was absolutely insane instant chills I just had goosebumps all over my body it was like an electric charge had just hit me like a wall now that I'm here again today and I've just been wandering around it's exactly the same and it's in no particular spot it's literally the whole place I don't even know what spot to kind of start investigating with Tawong it was quite easy for me to go okay I'm going there I'm going there I knew the stories but then I I also get very drawn into particular places with this that's not the case at all so I think I'm just going to keep wandering this morning and because I'm not getting pulled to a particular place I think it's just a case of just starting somewhere and seeing what I come up with so hey let's do this I guess guys let's see what I come up with I've come down into this section I was this is actually probably the only section I was drawn to so I thought I'd just come in and see if there's anyone around that would like to um communicate with me so let's turn the K2 on so if there's anyone in spirit here this morning with me my name is Jane I've come today to uh, communicate with you. You are welcome to come forward and communicate with me. I've come here just seeking answers to hear your stories, receive messages. I've come in nothing but peace and respect. So I've... If there's anything that you would like to tell me it's okay, do not be afraid. I'm just hearing someone up the hill yelling. Oh, I think it's bike riders up on the bike ramp. There's a bike ramp up the hill. They like to yell at each other when they're riding. That's very strange. I have a device in my hand. It has lights on it. If you step forward towards me, it will light up and it will show me that you are near me. So if you're here, you can come and stand near me. That's okay. You are welcome to do that. You won't scare me. Is there anyone at all here in spirit? There's lots and lots of bugs around today. We just recently had a little tiny bit of rain and now we've got the heat and the humidity coming out. So I'm up here early today. I'm really, really, really drawn to this, 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 this. <laughs> I'm quite drawn to this grave here. So it'll be interesting to see if I can pick anything up with the uh, digital voice recorder on the spirit box. So yeah, nothing on the K2. 
is there anyone here that wishes to communicate with me this morning? Do I have Christina here with me at all? when I was here last time is I did run the spirit box and I was getting so many voices coming through I couldn't comprehend at all what they were saying it was like everyone was like wanting to talk to me all at once and it wasn't any one voice coming through strongly it was just a whole lot of voices coming through and it was really confusing I'm hoping today that I can get at least some voices coming through a little bit clearer so what I might do I might just run an EVP session before I go back to the spirit box and see if I can get anyone coming through on that um, yeah I did a little bit of research and I found out that this is this grave here I'm sorry it's really dark it's under a big shady tree but this grave here is the grave of a Jane Hoskins Hawkins I do apologize I pronounced that wrong this is the grave of the lady that was the very first person to be interred in this cemetery so I thought I'd come to this one first I also found out that there is um, Bogger Road jail prisoners um, buried in this cemetery as well. Now the Bogger Road Jail is Brisbane's old historic jail which is no longer in use. It was actually in use right up until I believe the 80s for well over a hundred years. Um, that is actually over the hill in uh, that direction. Anyway, I thought I would come up here and see if the lovely Mrs. Hos Hawkins <laughs> has any tales to tell and wants to communicate with me today so I just thought I'd grab as always K2 out see if there's any energy around 
even the nearby graves here because there's some wonderful, lovely big graves here. I, we have an Elizabeth Sexton and a Captain Sexton. I believe they were a significant family when it comes to Brisbane. Um, as you can see, there's some rather large grave markers up here on this hill. So this is obviously the first part of the cemetery to be used. And then it obviously expanded outwards from here. So there would be obviously some rather significant people from the area buried here. And judging by the size of some of those monuments, that would tell me so as well. And hazard a guess at that. So is there anyone up here on the hill in spirit with me at this point in time today on this beautiful lovely Sunday it's quite warm we have a nice breeze blowing it's quite a lovely view as you can see we have a part of the Brisbane River over there it's quite a nice view you have up here lovely part of the cemetery with a big old um, Morton Bay fig tree I believe we have here above me look at the size of that trunk that would be probably here before these graves. So we've got some of these graves here. 1888 on that one there. So Mrs. Hawkins, Jane, her name is as well. She was interred in 1870. So there you go. That was quite some time ago. Jane, are you here with me? Feeling quite a gentle presence around. Not peaceful, just quite gentle. So I'm not sure whose energy that is I'm picking up on. It could be someone else around here, not necessarily saying it's her. But I'm not getting anything on the K2. So I might pull out, I'm picking up a bit of road noise here, but I might pick, I might pull out the digital voice recorder. Well, it's, there's a bit of wind, but it's not too bad. So we'll just see how we go with that. Just her cheering, <laughs> just coming from somewhere. It's, it's obviously that's human cheering. Okay, Jane Hawkins or the Hawkins family. Do I have any members of the family here with me today? Do I have anyone else in spirit here with me today? Is there anything you would like to share with me? Any messages you would like to tell me? Okay, I've just got a child down the bottom of the cemetery crying. So if you hear that, that's what that is. What was life like back in the late 1800s? Did you play an important role in the life of Brisbane back then? I just need to grab my speaker. I'm just so cheering. It's coming from somewhere. It's, it's obviously that's human cheering. Okay.
Jane Hawkins or the Hawkins family. Do I have any members of the family here with me today? Do I have anyone else in spirit here with me today? you would like to share with me? Any messages you would like to tell me? Bird. Okay, I've just got a child down the bottom of the cemetery crying, so if you hear that, that's what that is. life like back in the late 1800s? I don't know if my audio just picked that up, but I swear to God, I just heard something right behind me. I was like, a, ooh, ooh. I swear to God, I thought someone was walking just behind me. Like I've got full goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see that, just giving me chills. What the, <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know what it was. It could have been a noise carried from further down there, but I fully thought it was someone just there. It sounded kind of like a female voice. I, it, it, I, I, I don't know. It wasn't a bird sound. It sounded like it was like right there, like, like there, I, but it was in my ear. I have no idea. Until I play back the audio, I've got no idea. Anyway, this has got like 10 seconds. It, it definitely, it was not, like there's trucks. You can hear the truck exhaust going on up on the road up there. It's coming through the recording as well. But no, it was like, <laughs> it was like right there in my ear. It was like this, ooh, like, it was like, ooh, like, ooh, like who? sounded like a, like a, who you or something. I, I, I couldn't quite make it out because I had that in this ear. But, it, uh, but uh, I don't know, that was so odd. Yeah, and it felt like someone was behind me. I thought, I thought there was people walking there. Because I've got my sunnies on because it, I keep getting the sun coming in my eyes and, and I turned around like there's nobody there the heck anyway did you play an important role in the life of Brisbane back then okay well there, it wasn't on that because it was it was on this side of me okay well that was odd Okay, well, all I can do is wait till I get home and play that back and see if, if audio picked anything up while well, on top of this playing and obviously the, ex the external environment noises. Um, so yeah, we might just pull out the spirit box and see if anything comes through that. That was really weird. <laughs> I've still got goosebumps. It kind of gave me the chills. Okay. Spirit with me. Oh. Did I just say we are? My name's Jane. I'm just here out of peace and respect. I've just come seeking answers today. I'd love to hear your stories if you would like to share them with me. 
Could you tell me your name, please? Did you say Peter? Jane Hawkins here with me. Do I have any of the Hawkins family here with me? Was there someone in spirit I heard in my left ear before? Yeah. Because, yep, that was a female too. What was your name, please? Oh, the wind's coming up. I do apologise, guys. There was, like, literally barely any wind before. Who was it that spoke in my ear, please? Could you tell me your name? Was it you, Jane? Oh, I don't know if that said yep. Okay, guys, I'm just going to have to move a little bit. I don't know if I can get out of this wind. What would you like to tell me? It's a beautiful spot you have up here on the hill. Do I have any of the Sexton family here with me? If you are here with me, could you tell me what month and year you might have died in? Family members' names. Surname, please. Is that to say quattrol? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but there's Cottrell Graves just here. Cottrell. 
Who am I speaking with? Just here, guys. I hope you can see that. Oops, sorry. I could have swore that just said quattro. I'm assuming that's how you would pronounce it. Am I speaking with Eliza? Or is this Elizabeth? That was weird. Well, that was. says you're a wayward child. Is that true? That was interesting. So it is quite hard to hear once again because I'm always battling with the horrible wind. It's the only problem with doing outdoor and daytime investigations. So much external environmental noise. But I'm pretty sure when I asked for that surname, it did say Quattrell. I swore I heard Eliza and I did hear William come through a couple of times. Yeah, I might move on from this area. I'm here at the memorial marking the burial site of 40 men and one woman that were hung on the gallows at Bogger Road Jail, just as I said earlier, over the hill. Now, only one of these graves, which is this one just behind me here, were ever marked. The rest weren't. So back in I believe it was the early 2000s, the Brisbane City Council and the Bogaro Jail Historical Society got together to put together this small memorial, just as a way to say that, you know, even though these were people that committed some pretty heinous crimes, they still do deserve to be acknowledged and that, you know, they deserve to rest in peace, just as their victims deserve to rest in peace. You know, they did their time, they paid for their crime. It's now their time to rest in peace. So, you know, I, I understand that and that's fair enough. So now they have all their names are listed on a plaque here with what year they died. Obviously their crime's not listed there. That's not, an, that's not necessary. You know, they, they paid for that in their time here on earth. So yeah, so I thought I'd just head down here and um, see if I could pick up on anything. Here beside the grave of Patrick Keneff or Kenneth, I'm not sure how exactly to pronounce that, I apologise. So he was the one man's grave who was hung at the gallows, he was hung for murder, that was marked. The rest were all left unmarked, so it was, they were obviously buried in this void of area here where there are no other grave markers. So he was one lucky man. So just did a sweep with the K2, nothing picked up on that. So just going to give the spirit box a run and see if him or any of the other Bogger Road inmates that are buried on site here want to um, share their stories or have anything else they wish to tell us today. So Patrick, if you're here with me, I have this device in my hand. It's called a spirit box. It's like a radio. It just scans through frequencies and you are able to communicate with me if you wish to do so. I would love to talk to you today. So do I have you here with me today, Patrick, at all? Do I have anyone else from the Bogger Road Jail that was hung on the gallows here with me? It's certainly not a very nice way to die. There were 40 men and one woman that were hung on those gallows between eighteen eighty three and nineteen thirteen. Do I have any of those forty one people here with me today?
I heard you committed some pretty bad crimes to be hung at the gallows. My name's Jane. I would love to hear your stories. What was it like being condemned to jail in Bogoro Jail? What was it like sitting in that Bogoro Jail knowing that one day you'd be hung? dead. What sort of crimes did you commit? The poor victim. I hope they're resting peacefully now as well. Why would you commit such heinous crimes in the first place? Was it money? Greed? Was it power? Were you desperate? Patrick, I've heard that... Ooh. Patrick, I've heard you're one of the ghosts that haunt this cemetery. Is that true? Did this say haunting? Patrick, if you're here with me, what's my name? <laughs> 